Hello and welcome to this Coherent UI tutorial. In the previous video we showed you how to install and enable the Coherent UI GT plugin for your Unreal project. So now we're going to look at how to add some custom made UI to our game. In particular we're going to add a HUD and an in-world UI view. If you haven't watched the first video there's a link in the description so please go ahead and do so before you actually proceed with this part of the tutorial. Okay so let's get started. Alright, now that we have everything set up and the plugin enabled, what we need are the uh, resources for the uh, interface itself. So in this video we're not going to cover the actual creation of the, of the UI, but we're going to rather use the already available resources we have in the uh, sample project that come along with the plugin. So just go ahead and stop the editor. Now what we're going to do is go to the um, project uh, to the folder that we chose for the sample project and go into content and this folder UI resources we're going to copy that now you go into the um, folder that we chose for the Unreal project we go into content and just paste it here now we're going to launch the editor again Now that we have the plugin enabled and the UI resources in place, what we're going to do is create a new level. I'm just going to go ahead and use the default one. All right, now that we have that up, um, just going to double click on it to pop up the world settings. Now what we're going to do is create a new game mode. So we go ahead and click on the plus here, that creates a new blueprint. And I'm going to name it my game mode. Alright, now what we need to do is go to Edit, Project Settings, Maps and Modes, go to the default modes and the default game mode, and just choose it, the one that we just created, My Game Mode. So, what we're going to do now is add a HUD to our game. Now, I'm going to make use of the um, recently implemented uh, coherent menu. Uh, which uh, allows for quick access to some of the uh, plugin features like the one we're going to use now uh, what we're going to do is click on add HUD and this will change the um, current game modes HUD class to um, GT game HUD BP and it will initialize it also uh, it will add an empty HTML page to your UI resources folder now we're going to open up the HUD blueprint. Um, you can either do that from the blueprints tab over here or from the content browser. I'm just going to go ahead and double click that. It's going to open up the HUD blueprint. Uh, now we're not actually going to gain too much detail about the uh, elements we've got. Um, all you need to know for this video uh, is that you need to change the page URL, which is actually referencing the HTML page that was just created when we clicked on add HUD. So uh, this scheme called UI is actually the reference uh, to the uh, content folder in the uh, in the project. So all you need to specify after that are the are any um, subfolders and the actual HTML page that you're going to use for the UI. So what we're going to do now is change that to main UI which is an HTML page um, in the UI resources folder that we copied from our sample project. So let's go ahead and close the blueprint and see what's going to happen when we press play. Alright, now we have a UI popping up. All these elements are in the main UI uh, HTML page that we've just referenced. Uh, what you could actually do is put your own um, page uh, in the UI resources, uh, all you need to do is make sure that the page URL is uh, properly pointing to it. But for this for this video I'm just going to use this one as it's already uh, set up. Alright, now go ahead and close that. And as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, we're going to have an in-world UI view as well. Um, so what I'm going to do is go to the coherent GT menu again 
and click on the Add in World UI. This is going to add a GT plane to our scene. So what we need to do now is uh, edit the, the, this plane's blueprint. Uh, so we're going to click on Edit GT Plane. Now what we need to do is edit the view settings of that GT plane. So go ahead and click on the Green UI GT1 component. It's going to open up the uh, view settings, go to the URL field, and all you need to do is specify the file path to the HTML page that you're going to use. Now, as I mentioned before, you can use your own resources, but for this video, I'm just going to go ahead and use another sample in our UI resources folder that we just copied from the uh, sample project. So go to your Unreal project folder, content, UI resources, CUI frameworks, coherent, animation, samples, edge, and this is the page that I'm going to use now. All you could do is just copy the file path and just paste it here. I just specify the um, file inside that folder. And I've already done that, so we're going to go ahead and close the blueprint. And press play, see what happens. Alright, now we have the UI coming up again. But we have one more element here that we just placed on the GT plane. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Um, stay tuned to the channel for more videos. And if you have any questions or comments, just leave them down below.